Right, today we are uh, in an industrial area. We're recording uh, strings there today. I'm gonna show a little bit about that. Okay, let's go inside. All right, so this studio is called the Power Sound Studio. We use this studio to record the orchestra. In our whole recording process, we use different uh, studios for different purposes. We are looking to have a bit of a dry sound for the orchestra, but still living. All right, at the moment, uh, the strings are being recorded. Uh, well, just behind me, you can see the room where uh, Daniel, the producer, and the technician are uh, listening to, uh, to the recordings. And, uh, yeah, what they do is that they listen if it's uh, if they play it in tune, if their timing is right. And also Frank uh, is there. He is uh, Frank is the the person who arranged uh, the string arrangements, the orchestral arrangements, and he is also conducting the orchestra uh, there. I'm Daniel Gibson, the producer of uh, Within Temptation. I'm here today recording strings for the 2011 album of Within Temptation. The strings are recorded here in Holland and all the other times they were recorded in Prague and the album before that we did in Russia. So this is the first time in Holland to start with. And I think we have a little bit less people this time just to make it a bit easier. What's maybe also uh, uh, nice to know is that uh, the people which are recording right now the orchestra is uh, a lot of people we have worked before on a previous record, but also now on the previous record we've recorded with another orchestra. But on our last single, uh, Utopia, we've recorded with these people. And also our live uh, concert, The Black Symphony, from which we also made um, a DVD uh, recording, are the same people who are now recording for this uh, record. I know Within Temptation from before because uh, it's a Dutch uh, group group and I'm, I'm a Dutch string player also. I had the great opportunity to work together with them because I'm also in the Metropole Orchestra and we did a big project uh, with Temptation with Metropole Orchestra in Ahoy. This was two years ago or three years ago, I don't remember exactly but that was fantastic, uh, fantastic experience because I think also this music of Within Temptation suits very well so it's uh, yeah it's seeing a lot of uh, familiar faces again and uh, yeah the good thing is is that they they know our music and uh, and they like to do it again that's just very important for the, the recordings yeah. if you like what you play you play it better i think the concept of the of the group is fantastic and uh, i really like to, to listen to it i think uh, at the moment, uh, all the musicians are taking a coffee break, so uh, they're sitting right there. And uh, but this gives us an opportunity to uh, go into the recording room and uh, and see how that looks. So uh, follow me. Let's go. All right. So this is the recording room. A lot of uh, mics, a lot of uh, mic stands. Well, the conductor is standing over there. Uh, maybe it's nice, we'll, we'll, we'll check the stuff he is, uh, he is using to conduct. The, the scores of the music. The last song we've done is uh, called, uh, well, you can see here what the title is and what he basically does. Oh my God, this is so much. So that's how we can check uh, what everybody uh, is supposed to play. I think that's really amazing that they can do that because you know, they can just look at a score and they can hear in their head how it needs to sound. So I think that's pretty cool. Over there behind that window, uh, Daniel, our producer, is uh, of course listening to what they're playing. And uh, <laughs> well, you can hear him. <laughs> Sometimes forgets to take a pill, but that's okay. Okay, let's go and check the recording room. No, the, not the recording room, but where Daniel, our producer, is in the technician. Well, this is uh, Daniel, our producer. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's not such a good-looking guy. 
you can't have it all. I mean, be a good producer and be also a good-looking guy. So. But he's really, a, really a good producer, I think. At the moment, they're uh, they're playing a, a song with a working title in the middle of the night. Maybe that will be the definite title, but I don't know yet. And it's I think this is the fastest song of the record. I'm just gonna go in in a bit uh, to check if they uh, manage to uh, to keep up with the pace of the song. But I'm I'm pretty confident because they uh, they have showed me that they can play really really fast and really good. Great, one more. Yeah. But today, I think we had six songs um, for a whole day. So that's, uh, yeah, let's say eight hours for for six songs of strings, only strings. Then, huh? and then you have also an extra day for choirs and and brass, like uh, trumpets and and horns and stuff like that. Uh, one little. Uh, this was the all for this song, right? Or yes. okay. There's one little thing I would like to try. The first chorus. It, it feels like there's a lot of bass in there. So if the basses could play softer, and we get octave on uh, an octave up on the violin. Last, uh, last one. Sounds very uh, logical. So is it new needs? Right. So it's how they start. It would be cool, right? Yeah, yeah totally cool. Alright, it's the end of the recording session of the strings. And uh, with the end of this uh, session, um, the whole recording of the orchestra has come to an end. The whole album has been recorded for as far as the orchestra goes. We are extremely happy with the end result. See you soon.